okay let's do question 20 question 20 is a um uh, a nice a nice question is not a direct question to find mean yeah but it's still mean so let's look at it it says the mean of the data above is 22.4 so the data here the mean is 22.4 find the value so now the mean is given to you and there is an unknown here and this is very common in ad math yeah they give you the answer and ask you to reverse it back to find an unknown so the method to do is always the same to find the mean first you need to have the formula and the formula says that mean is equal to the sum of the fx over the sum of the f. So let's put uh, put out a table here yeah, for fx. So x in this case is the midpoint, right? So midpoint or x, yeah, and uh, fx. So let's um, draw out a table. So um, the midpoint would be 13 for the first class and that is 18 followed by 23 28 and 33 and the frequency is 3 so fx would be 13 times 3 right so that's 39 90 and now there is a p here so don't worry about it just do it as usual it's 29 times p right so uh, 23 i mean so 23 p and then 28 times 6 is 168 and that is 33 okay so same thing here sum of the fx means you add all of these together yeah add all of them up that will give you 330 plus 23p so you will have the p there so don't worry about it okay and um, now what about the total frequency so you can actually do the formula now the min is given to you uh it's 22.4 so form your equation because that's how you find your unknown uh sigma fx or sum of fx is 330 plus 23p divided by what's the total frequency you add all of this up and you get your answer in terms of p that's 15 plus p okay so now solve this so 15 plus p times 22.4 that gives you let's shift this up so you get 336 plus 22.4 p equals to 330 plus 23 p and now uh, shift everything to one side you get 6 and that is um, 24, 22.4 and 23 get 0.6p. So p is equals to 10 and it makes sense yeah frequency is 10 now a note yeah please use your common sense when you're doing this i always say that if you get p as a decimal then it's not possible why because p is frequency it is not possible for you to have the first data the second data the third and the fourth and the half data frequency must always be a whole number and it cannot be negative okay so that is how you find um min or the reverse of min to find a, an, an unknown if you, the min is given okay now um i'm gonna go through median now yeah let's have a look here in question 21 you're required to find median so we have learned how to find mode of group data now you are learning how to find mean you have learned how to find mean now you're going to learn median okay now here is where you're going to use a um, well people say the, the formula is complicated okay actually it is not now to find the median the one that is in the middle okay well again like mean you like mode you can't tell you can find the total frequency and uh, divide it by two and find the one in the middle but because there is a grouped data here there is a range you do not know exactly what would be the median you can only tell the median class so what do we do we use a formula okay and the formula is this yeah it is given to you so don't worry median okay or m uh, is equals to this is lower boundary of median class plus n over 2 minus big f over f and small m as an f with a small m times c okay so now this formula is given so pay attention yeah this formula is given so you don't have to worry but the problem is this students tend to forget what does l stand for and what is big f and small f and the c 
okay so they always confuse between these so that's that's what you have to remember yeah okay and i'm going to explain it to you uh, right now this okay stands for lower boundary of the median class because you're looking for median yeah lower boundary of the median class okay and the big f the big f here the big f here stands for cumulative frequency of the classes before the median class before the median class this is very very important the keyword before the median class and the small f with an m here okay the small f with an m here it stands for frequency of the median class and what about the c this is your class size okay so and uh, what about n n is number of data so i don't have to tell you that n stands for number of data so now let's have a look how to put this formula into action yeah let's have a look at this question here first you need to find the lower boundary of median class that means you have to find the median class to find the median class you have to find the total frequency and here's the total total up so sum of frequency if you add them up is 50. so median class would equals to 50 divided by 2 so that would be the 25th data the 25th data so the 25th data is where so let's look at the cumulative frequency that's 9 plus 14 23 23 so 25th not yet so 25th will be so tw 23 plus 10 is 33 right so that means the 25th data is somewhere here okay that's your median class yeah 21 to 30 so median class this is your median class now take note yeah because a lot of things from the formula require you to know where's the median class okay now let's look at it let's put in the formula here okay median is equals to that's lower boundary of median class the median class is 21 to 30 so lower boundary is 20.3 at uh, 20.5 sorry and there's a plus total n cents for total frequency which is 50 and it's divided by 2 because it's the median minus big f stands for cumulative frequency of classes before the median class so that means this is your median class so you add up all the frequency before the median class that means you add 9 and 14 that is big f okay so that would be 23 over small f is the frequency of the median class which is 10 so that's 10 then do not forget multiply with the class size the class size is 1 to 10 it's not 10 minus 1 yeah it's 10 minus 1 plus 1 you have to include the 1 as well or you use the lower boundary and the upper boundary upper boundary minus lower boundary that will give you 10 so now press your calculator be very careful when you do this do the bracket first it's a 2 so 20.5 uh, plus 2 that this thing times 10 is a 2 so the answer is 22.5 that is the median okay now again after you have done this please pause and use your common sense the median must be a data that falls somewhere between 21 and 30 because that's where your median class is if you get an answer that is out of this 21 and 30 say you get 40 obviously you have done something wrong say you get 15.5 obviously you have counted something wrong say you have 70 that is even more wrong <laughs> because the classes is between 1 to 50 you don't the data is between 1 to 50 you don't have anything that is more than 50 so again please remember to use common sense all right using the formula is just memory it doesn't require anything you just have to have some common sense to see whether you calculated correctly all right so this is how you find median and uh, in the next video we are gonna look at looking uh, practice looking for median using the formula and also using the ogive all right i'll see you in the next video